everyone welcome back to the audio learning active uh, video lecture series at Baisak and myself Satyam Chauhan from Atme Institute of Technology and Science from Rajkot here we have again uh, another lecture on mechanical drafting subject and today is a second session of the multi view representation basically last time as we have seen orthographic projection today we are going to cover few more session few more topics on the same subject so let us revise what we have seen last time uh, we have seen multiple examples of uh, orthographic projection that how we can get the orthographic projection in multiple views so basically the principal six views we can obtain by the glass box method as we can see the image of object is projected on the sides of box then we have seen that how to orient all those views into the different position so what will be the layout of the orthographic projection so the things to be noticed that we have to unfold the glass method in a such a way that we can obtain all six view and how it can be oriented so let us see that how it creates the all six views from the glass box we have also seen what will be the particular position of each and every view starting from front plan bottom then left and right and side view and the rear view so how we can use the height in the front and the side views and how we can use the depth to obtain the top and bottom view we have also seen that how to draw the orthographic projection the three methods one was the scale method we can use directly the measurement of this object and use the particular object to draw the orthographic projection by scale method the second was the divider method as we have seen we can use the compass to do the projection of the orthographic particular view and then we have seen how to how to draw the orthographic projection by use of miter line so we are using miter line to complete the orthographic projection and to obtain multi views so commonly we are using miter line method then we have seen a common object that how we can use the front view and top view and how we are deciding that which view will be the front view and which will view will be the side view so the if you are standing in front of a pro object the maximum dimension visible that particular direction will be chosen for the front view as we can see on the object so for the production reasons we will continue this example by drawing three standard views so let us see how we have drawn the other views from the help of front view so we are simply projecting from the each and individual corners and sides to obtain the top view and then after finishing the top view we simply are drawn a 45 degree line and by transferring those projection to the right hand side we can obtain this side view so we have also seen what are the different lines and what are the applications of those lines in orthographic projection so for example here we have the dotted line and is called hidden line so we have seen different types of line and its application in detail in last session so and also seen what is the difference between first angle and third angle with the help of a animated object so here we have the first angle in which the front view and top view will be the front view will be above the xy line and top view will be below xy line 
that is the main difference between the first angle and third angle so in third angle the front view will, will be below the xy line and top view will be above the xy line so let us take one more example and revise that how we obtained those views in detail so from the front view we obtain the this shape and the pink shape as a front view for top view we projected this green surfaces to obtain the top view and for the side view we obtain the side view on the profile plane and hence this cyan color and these two surfaces are visible here so this is the simple example let us take few more examples in order to completely understand this so how we are drawing the orthographic projection of the same object let us draw first x y line so we have this view we are drawing the front view above the x y line hence it is the first angle projection method and we are using the same projections to get the top view and that will be our plan or top view of the same object so we are transferring the front view or say elevation projection in order to get the side view so this will be our left hand side view it is to be noted that for the first angle projection left hand side view will be on the right side of the front view let us take one more geometry we are going to draw the orthographic projection of this object so for the front view if you are looking from this side so this is the dark line since this line is visible so all the blue surfaces will be visible in front view for the top view all the green surfaces will be available and since this edge is overlapping this slot hence for this dimension we need to draw a hidden line so we have drawn a hidden line over here so this is the use of the dashed line and that is our top view and for the side view whatever the yellow portion we have we are simply projecting those line in order to get the side view and here we have drawn one line here since this length is completing over here and this is not the one object since in order to differentiate this block and this block since the length is cutting here we need to draw a dashed line over here and similarly over here for this slot so if we are not drawing these two lines it means this is the only one body it means this length is up to this edge and this length extends to the this edge and this object will become one body one solid body so that is the important of hidden line let us take one more example that how we can draw up this same object by drawing x y line so we obtain front view first and by getting the top view with the help of projection that is our top view if we transfer these projections this will become our top view and 
to obtain the side view we are projecting the projection from front view and this will be our side view so we have a dotted line here so one more a bit complicated figure here we have a slot projected from here to whole body so let us draw our orthographic projections from for this geometry first we are obtaining front view so whatever the pink surface is visible since these two block are the same identical pieces so these two blocks will be overlapping so this portion and this portion will be overlapping so here we have whatever we can see from here this will be our front view and it is to be observed that the dotted line is here to show that it is not a continuous so we have a slot a section removed from here so in order to show this section we have used the dotted line over here and for the top view we are simply projecting this projection to obtain top view and whatever the green color is visible that will be our top view so this block is completely visible so it is shown by dark line visible outline and let us see why the dotted line so this dotted line represents this slot we'll see in orthographic projection so this is for the understanding how the top view can be obtained and let us see for the side view all the cyan color or blue color surfaces are visible for the side view so if you project this side view in the profile plane we can obtain since these edges are visible so this section is clearly visible hence it's to be shown by visible outline and then the slot is not visible hence we need to show a dotted line over here hence it is projected as a hidden line let us draw the orthographic projection for that so by drawing first xy line our we will copy the front view first and by drawing the projection we are obtaining the top view so it is to be noted that this line is represented for the slot the top view and for the side view we are simply projecting these lines in order to get the side view so this will be our left hand side view and these are the principal views so hence we completed the multi views one more geometry for the front view we are obtaining whatever the yellow and saffron color surfaces over here we are projecting on the vertical plane so the hidden line here we have one slot here cut section from here and hence it is shown by dotted line for the top view let us draw each and every projection from the every corner and the sides we will obtain the green surfaces and this two pink section over here and for the side view whatever the cyan color and those green surfaces are also available in is visible from the sides so this will be available in side view and also as few part of this section the topper edge 
is also visible. So we learn from this object that if two views are showing the same for example green section here and here it means it is the inclined surface because the inclined surface are visible only in two views and this dotted line represent the this line which are cut section from here hence it is represented a dotted line say hidden line in the side view let us see the orthographic projection for this the same front view over here the top view with the help of projections and the side views so this green section and the cyan section one more geometry for the front view what are the visible surface this blue this inclined surface which is green and this blue color so this all three green surfaces are visible from here for the top view all the yellow color as well as this green surface again we have this green parts over here and over here are copied into two views here and similarly here it means these two surfaces are inclined and for the side views it is drawn only this portion and the hidden line let us see the orthographic projection so this view plus the slot here will be shown with the help of hidden line over here so this slot represent there is cut section from this geometry and by projection we will 